UFC picks weekly. And last week, Ben just said he went five and one. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Better Win Green. Eh? To Better Win Green. Eh? To Better Win Green. We got some exciting news today. Make sure you guys stay around till the end. Wyatt, I hope that the people who are listening on Monday, do you know where we're currently at right now of our nine bets? Well, I know you had the National League. I know that was one that was pending. And I think the last I saw we were six and one. So I'm going to assume we're seven we and one. one. Seven, seven and one, one right now. We got to see what happens with the sun singular tonight. Oh, correct. Correct. Yes. <laughs> well, we yeah, got I mean, potential eight and one, man. What is that? That's that's plus seven units around yeah. there. If you're doing a unit per play, I mean, I guess a little less. But guys, you got to start uh, paying attention to these. Don't pay attention to last week. It's a <laughs> yeah. new week this week, and <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, that was I was just railing them off in the home run derby on Monday. I was feeling really good. Unfortunately, could not get the winner. Um, but perfect first round. Um, I was a perfect five for five, and then. Uh, championship it went the wrong way but yeah that was a great feeling because I was really struggling um, with bets it feels good to win some absolutely that's why you got to fall for the whole month you can't just hop on one week and not the right. other because we haven't had a single losing month yet I saw system <laughs> yes yes I saw your TikTok. did you parlay those four together I did yes <sighs> I parlayed the first four um, nothing crazy I think I put like 10 bucks on it but it was plus 1100 so 10 bucks won 110 so Dude. Uh, that 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 felt good. That paid for the the tournament, or it paid for the derby. Plus, the <laughs> under four hundred and ninety feet never even came close. So no. that just a beautiful night. Excellent reads, man. Let's keep it up today. Uh, Ethan couldn't join us today, but he'll be back with us hopefully tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna let. Do you want to start, or do you want me to start today? Why don't Why don't you start? Okay. Okay. We're gonna mix it up today. So we're gonna go with the Braves minus one and a half. I believe this game's on Friday. Braves are first in ERA and runs against uh, top three in all offensive statistics. Sox are bottom half of the league uh, in every single category. Pitchy matchup is Morton, who's nine and six with a three point four ERA, versus Kopech Kopik, who's three and seven with a four point zero eight ERA. Braves, we saw a lot of their guys playing in this All Star game, so I think they come out and get a win over a White Sox team that's been struggling again. Yeah, I'm excited to have baseball back. I can't believe I'm saying that. But, yeah, baseball resumes second half of the season uh, on Friday. Again, Ethan said he's not good after the All-Star break. So whenever Ethan comes back, don't pay attention to his baseball bets. That's a quote from him. Maybe that's why he's gone. That he's preparing for it, yes. (laughs) He's preparing for his downfall. Um, I have no baseball. Um, I have two golf, and I have a Wimbledon. I'm going to go my Wimbledon first. Um, the times are TBD. If you look at ESPN, it says 8 a.m. tomorrow that or 8 a.m. today. That's the last time they said that the match didn't kick off till like one in the afternoon. So um, by the time this comes out, it should the game should not have started yet. But I actually have a two team parlay or two player parlay in the men's um, semifinals. We have Novak Djokovic. We're taking him on the money line. I believe he's right around minus 370, minus 380. And then we're taking Carlos Alcaraz, the number one overall. Um, and we're taking him, uh, he's minus 220. Those two parlayed together is a minus 145. Kind of juicy, but I have a, a golf play that's going to make up for it. But reason for this, it's it was always Djokovic and Carlos in the finals. Djokovic's guy in the semifinal, don't know his name, but he's not good. And Carlos, um, Carlos is this guy that he's playing, has gone to six sets almost every single time this tournament. So I like Carlos just to take care of business, and it just makes sense to have Novak and Carlos in the final. So those two set or those two parlayed together. Hopefully you're seeing this in time before those games start. If they don't, just take it live because they're gonna win. Um, but minus 145 is decent enough value for me. This is we're gonna have a good spread of sports today, then. Because I got yeah. two baseball and a UFC. Ooh, beautiful. Yes. So my next uh MLB, not a whole bunch of reasoning behind this. I'm just I've loved taking Angels money line all season when Otani's pitching. And it's paid off for yep. me just about every time. I think I only got bit by it once. Um Angels right now are on a five game losing streak. So they have not been playing well. Um, and I think that's gonna help the odds. So that's what I really like. Um the team that they're playing against, I don't have in front of me right now. Um they're not very great either. I think they're two – or the Astros. They're playing the Astros. They're two and three in their last five. Angels are at home. I think they get to break this streak with Otani. 
really hard to bet against Otani, yeah. uh, especially when he's pitching. So I like that a lot. Uh, I think his record's like nine and two or ten something and two, crazy. something like that. Yeah, I think he has two losses and nine or ten wins. But yeah, he, he's pretty good. Um, all right, I'm going to go into my golf. I have two top 20 plays. Again, I follow this guy. He's due because he hasn't won since the PGA. Also, the – oh, you're right. The National League was due. I took the American yesterday. That was stupid. Um, anyways, I am going to take Tyrell Hatton, top 20 uh, at minus 110. This is the Scottish Open, Open starting tomorrow. So by the time you're seeing this tomorrow, you should still be able to get it live. Um, we're taking Hatton top 20. Uh, his last five, he was finished 27th in the PGA, 3rd, 12th, 15th, and 5th. So he's, besides his 27th um, finish at a major, he's finished uh, in the top 20 his next four times. So he's also uh, like the 7th favorite to win it. It is a bigger field. We do have Scheffler. We do have Rahm, um, Fitzpatrick, uh, Cantley. All those guys. So it's a it's a big field, but Hatton's played really well, even with those guys in the field. I like him at top twenty at minus one ten. Now I know there's two golf tournaments going on this weekend. Is that I know that he has those big name guys, but is it thinned out a little bit because that they're spreading it a bit? It's a little thin. Um, obviously, as I said, there's still Scheffler and Rom. Um, but yeah, I think there's a. I'm not. This is the bigger one of the two. Um, but it's also taking. You know, people are kind of picking and choosing. But this is the one, the bigger named one. But yeah, it's not the full field. But there is bigger names than last week. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, hey, I, we're not going to complain about any thinning going on. <laughs> yeah. Um. I love this bet. I love it. This is, I'm not a hundred percent sure how to say his name. Um, Sadyakov money line. He's at minus minus one thirty five. I have a bunch of stats here, but the last one is my favorite. So average fight time is 11, 19 um, for Sadyakov to McKinney's three minutes and 40 seconds. So Sadyakov can go much longer. I worry about if McKinney doesn't finish it early, if he gets gas. And at that point, if it goes to a decision, I like it because Sadyakov has the higher strikes per minute at 5.17 to 3.78. He's got the better accuracy, 52% to 48%. He's finishing his takedowns at 85% rate versus McKinney's 41%. Sadyakov is coming off a win where McKinney's just got uh, knocked out with a flying knee to the head. And wow. now my favorite stat, my source said. Our source that went 5-1 <laughs> and one last week. That's true. He killed it last yeah. week. I, I hit him up today, and I said, I need one more pick today, man. I, I'm struggling for that third pick. And he said, I got these three guys. One of them was like a minus 600. So I said, all right, let's pitch him. Let's go with one of these other two. As I was looking into it, I love Sadyakov. Yeah, great stats there. And again, if you guys don't know who Ben's talking about, he is over there on our blog posting UFC fight or UFC picks weekly. And last week, Ben just said he went five and one. I did not tail, um, but I should have. Um, I will be tailing this weekend or at least some of his picks. Um, so yeah, make sure you check out uh, the blogs over there at uh, at our website, bettergreen.com. Um, because I mean, and all that data you just gave, wow. Yeah, that was that's quality research right there. I will say one thing: flying kick KO. You don't come back from that. That it's, is it's a mental one of the more sport. Em embarrassing things that can happen to a man. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I mean, it's not that embarrassing, but uh, that, that's a tough look. Everyone's going to be oohing and on when you just got knocked your ass out. So you ate it. Um, you ate a knee to the it. face. You ate it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I love that. I love. I'll be on that just from the. 30 second reasoning you gave there. I love it. Perfect. Um, my final pick is another top 20. As I said, in the Scottish open this weekend, we are taking Justin Rose top 20 at plus plus one sixty. This is counteracting that Novak, um, Carlos Alcaraz minus minus one forty five. um, reasoning for this, uh, just like Hatton, Justin Rose has finished great. His last, uh, five, he missed the cut at the PGA, which was his last, um, PGA, uh, event. Then, after that, he finished 8th, 12th, 9th, and 25th. He did play um, a non-PGA um, tournament. It's called the DP World Tournament. Um, it's Ooh. There's still competitive names in that. Uh, like Hatton played in it last year. Um, he finished 4th in that, and that was last weekend. So he's coming off a 4th place finish. 
Um, besides the missed cut at the PGA, again, he's had two top 10 finishes. I like him just at top 20. It's plus 160. Again, there's some big names in the field, but it's not the entire field that we normally see at big tournaments. So I think it's really good value at plus 160. I will be sprinkling him um, to win it all at plus 5,000, as well as Hatton at plus 2,300. Um, so those are my two plays of the golf. Again, I'm very cold on golf, so take those with a grain of salt. But I like my odds and my guys do to have a winner. So that's what I'm rolling with. Love it. Love it, dude. We're going to have a huge <laughs> week this week. Yeah. After the head start and with these picks, I'm I'm excited, dude. So we have the potential to go that well, wide. If we go 9 and 0 next or this today or this weekend, 17 and 1 is our potential. Obviously, that's a long shot, but wow. We put out a 17 and 1 slip. And you're not following, man. I don't know what you're doing. We're printing money. I, after Obviously, just... I, probably, I probably just ruined it. But <laughs> <laughs> After 8-1, and one, come on now. No losing yeah. months either. Yeah. What are you doing if you're not following, if you're not subbed yet? Exactly. Our, we've got some great news. This is our big announcement. Wyatt, we donated $400 to the Little Bit Foundation. They they are a uh, organization that works with children in St. Louis. So my heart's in Kansas City, but location wise, I'm in St. Louis. Um, if I won my fantasy championship, it's a fifty dollar buy in. All the money goes to charity. I want to shout out those guys real quick. That's Brendan, Brandon, Noah, Billy, Pops, Chris, and Jake. So thank you guys for being a part of it. Twenty um, percent of the children in St. Louis are in the poverty rate. Um, they help over 40,000 kids. They serve 48 schools. They help with food, clothing, learning resources, and continuing on after school. So helping you go to college, helping you go to a trade school. Uh, they're doing great work over there. I think they had like 14,000 volunteer hours last year alone. Um, as much as $400 sounds, that only supports two children a year. So any, any type of help you guys can give to any of your local charities, little bit foundation is the one that's close to my heart. Uh, it goes a long way. Um, with the Scotty fishbowl, we, everybody's kind of in the giving spirit right now. And we wanted to make sure we highlighted that on the show. Um, and you know what? It gave a Wyatt option. You could pay your $400 and 97% of it goes to the charity and 3% goes to processing fees. Or you can choose the 100% option goes, but then you have to pay the processing fees. You know which one we went with? 100%. 100. 100. <laughs> we don't take the easy way out. Come on. Come on. You're not going to get come us uh, processing companies. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. <laughs> you could take your 3% and shove it, man. This is this is going to a good cause. <laughs> yeah. Why? yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah, Um. Yeah, I mean, what you're doing and, and what we're trying to build at Better and Green is more than just football. It's more than just sports. It's more than just sports betting. Um, we really do care um, about uh, the you know the rest of the world, making the world a better place. And there's a lot of people that are in need much more than ourselves and people close to us. So, um, and Ben, you're setting a great example and, and you're really building um, from yourself and for Better and Green um, what we really stand for. So, um, great work, brother. Uh, we're all proud and, and appreciative of, of your um, donation. And uh, yeah, we're, we'll have many more uh, charity events and charity donations uh, in the future. So stay tuned to those um, and uh, reach out and uh, email, leave a comment of ways you can get involved in your community. And we'll be sure to help you guys out with that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I'm gonna do my best to win this championship again this year to send that money right back their way, man. <laughs> and you know how you're going to do that? How? How should I do that? With our fantasy guide. And if you do not have that fantasy guide, it is on our website. We're running out of our deal. Um, again, we had 50% off on that first week. That is going to be um, coming up to its end shortly. So get into um, our website and get yourself your fantasy guide now so you can win your fantasy league and so you can then make a donation to charity. It's a win-win. Um, everyone profits from that. So um, make sure you do that as well. Beautiful, beautiful, man. And it ends Friday, but that's Thursday at midnight Friday. So make sure you guys Correct. get in, get it, get it today. 
Wyatt, before we get out of here, tell the people a little bit about the uh, Gotham City Nights. Tell, tell them to go check it out, man. Man, what a video. I, I woke up this morning. I saw a notification that we posted a short. I It made my day at whatever time. What time did I get up? 8.30 a.m. this morning. It was the one of the best videos, shorts. It is my own team, so I'm a little biased. But wow, <laughs> the production value of the Gotham City Nights. Go check that out if you have not on our YouTube channel. It's YouTube Shorts, under a minute long. It's hilarious. Very well done. And I'm already trying to become a season um, ticket holder. Um, They're not helping with uh, who I get in touch with for that, but I'm going to keep reaching out. Um, They're kind of sketchy. So um, we'll figure it out. But, yeah, make sure you go over there and check out that video. We have a couple more expansion teams as well. And let us know what your favorite expansion team is or if you have any requests on future expansion teams because this is one of our funnest things to do. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. I think with that, man, that's all we're going to have for today. So everybody, we'll see you on Friday. See you guys. You better start listening to the Better in Green podcast. You will not regret it. Trust me, trust me, trust me. And hey, I'm Dean Blandino. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Better in Green. eh? To Better in Green. eh? To Better in Green. eh? Listen in and cash out. That's what it's all about. Come on, let's make cash now. We always on spot and we cover all spot from the bottom to the top. Hey, shout out to Ethan, shout out to Wyatt, shout out to Ben. Welcome, welcome to our podcast. Better win green.